Uh, hello friends. Uh, friends, in this video uh, we will uh, know about Seragon RP20G. Okay. So basically in this video we will discuss about what is Seragon. Okay. And port details of Seragon and how we can install uh, I mean Seragon RP20G and where we can install. Okay. So let's see full video. So friends as you can see here uh, this is our IDU. Okay. IDU means indoor unit. Okay. And this is also called uh, Seragon RP20G. So indoor unit basically we can install in indoor if we have 19 inch rack in indoor if uh, I mean shelter is there I mean cabinet is there yeah building site is there but yes in this idea we can install in 19 inch rack okay so any bigger or a small 19 inch rack is there uh, and in 19 inch rack one your space is available then we can install easily this idea okay and don't forget to i mean fix with four screw we can see here one two and three four and also we can see here grounding sample here okay so we need to connect here grounding cable okay and let's see about um, and let's see the, uh, this port details also and see this is our i mean 16 e1 uh, here we can connect our 16 e1 cable this is our alarm uh, port here we can connect alarm cable we have also sync port management management port we can log in from the management management port, uh, management port to PC, we have also terminal port. Okay, and now we have now four. I mean, uh, electrical port. We have two optical port, and we have two radio uh, interface port. Also, where we can connect. I mean, audio. Uh, I mean, audio via coax cable. Okay, so basically, uh, from this radio, we can use two link. Okay, one on link we can connect on radio one, and second we can connect on radio two. Okay, so here we can see this is our microwave antenna and with microwave antenna attach audio and from audio to audio we can connect through coax cable. Okay, so this uh, I mean microwave antenna mounted mounted on pole with bracket. So also with bracket we can uh, I mean install on tower also. Okay. And uh, as we can see here, kits required to perform the installation. So we need IP20G chichis. So this is also called chichis. Uh, we need 19 inch rack where we can install this IDU and SM card cover. Okay. So what is SM card cover? We can discuss later in this video. Okay. Now, uh, yes. Now we can see here. Uh, uh, yes, now we can discuss about SM card. So SM card holds uh, the configuration and software for the IDU. The SM card is embedded in the SM card cover. So reusing the existing SM card cover is necessary to ensure that unit software and configuration is maintained. So a SM card is look like chips. Okay. So if if uh, this uh, I mean ap uh, 20 g went faulty. I mean existing went faulty, and you are replacing with new one. So first you can insert. Uh, I mean. Uh, you can take out I mean SM card okay uh, from this I mean existing audio and when yes and if uh, uh, if you swap with a new one with existing then you can again insert uh, I mean with the new uh, I mean after 20 G okay and then you can I mean give power and you can restart I mean audio so automatic it will, it will restore all the I mean software and parameter in new audio okay so no need to do commissioning with laptop okay no need to log in also sometime if you're having some issue and problem okay then you can i mean you have to do um, i mean commissioning manually okay but yes um, uh, you can uh, you should have backup in your laptop okay because same uh, parameter same thing same vlan same ip you need to fill in new ip20g also okay if uh, sm card is not working if sm card is i mean okay and sm card is working in with i mean uh, new ip 20 g then uh, no need to i mean i mean do manually commissioning with new audio okay now we can see here i mean uh, the seragon ip 20 g uh, g is a compact unit we can see here we can install in 19 inch rack unit as i told it take one us space in the rack, rack okay so we can see here uh, one audio height is only one unit one unit is there so one unit means one u Okay, so if uh, in 19 inch rack one USB is there, then we can install easily. Okay, the Seragon RP20G features a passive cooling system that eliminates the uh, need for fan. So we are not using fan. So passive passive cooling system is there. I mean, having this audio, so no need to no need to install fan. Okay, and also this audio does not support fan. Okay. IP20G system consists of an of an IP20G indoor unit. As I told, this is audio and audio called indoor unit. And this uh, uh, unit also has two 
uh, I mean radio frequency unit, uh, radio frequency unit means RFU, okay, and coax cable connect the audio to each RFU, so when we are uh, connecting with audio uh, to audio, then we have to reach coax cable, okay, so from the coax cable, I mean, uh, yeah, it can transmit traffic management data between the RDU and the RFU and it will provide also I mean power to the RFU. RFU means audio, audio means outdoor unit. Okay. And IP20G RDU uh, contains six Ethernet interface, uh, one or two radio interface depending on the hardware configuration and optionally 16 E1 DS1 interface. Okay. So we can see here we have two radio interface where we can connect our I mean RFU, I mean audio, okay, if we are using one link then we, we can use only one radio, I mean one uh, radio interface, if we have two then we can use both one, okay, so we can see here one or two radio interface. And TNC, uh, we can use here TNC connector, okay, this is our TNC port. Uh, we have two uh, power supply here, primary and secondary, so we can connect with, uh, I mean, uh, I mean primary and secondary also if if we need to give one power then we can also give one if we we have to give also second one then also we can give second one for backup purpose okay and we can see here uh, as I told that this is our 16 E1 uh, port optional okay if uh, if uh, if on side 2G is running and 2G has E1 cable then we can connect uh, E1 cable via cron to this port okay and also you if you if you need alarm from this audio then you can give alarm, uh, alarm I mean external alarm uh, we need to use DB9 connector here we have also sync in out RJ45 so we can connect here RJ45 we have two FE management RJ45 so uh, here from management port we can log in uh, I mean uh, to I mean this audio okay we can uh, use RJ45 cable and we can connect uh, on management port to our laptop if we, if we need to do I mean manually commissioning then we can connect I mean uh, LAN cable on management port and whatever I mean you need to change in RDU like VLAN or IP address yeah, you can change manually also we have terminal interface here okay so we can use also terminal uh, I mean port here uh, and also we have two dual mode GB electrical or cascading RJ45 two electrical RJ45 and two uh, optical SFP so we have total we have four electrical port and two optical port okay so when i mean if if we need to use optical port here then first we need to insert here optical sfp then we can use i mean uh, this i mean this port for i mean traffic purpose electrical i mean electric port electrical i mean port we can also use for i mean traffic purpose if we have 2g and 3g and 4g technology then we can choose this port Okay, as I told that we have two uh, radio here, radio one and radio two. If we are if if side having two link, then we can use both radio one and radio two. If we have I mean one micro link, then then we can choose radio one or radio two. Okay, and also you need to give I mean dual supply here for the backup purpose. If one supply, I mean MC MCB went off, then your power would be on. Okay, I mean from the secondary one. So better you can give I mean dual supply to this audio. Okay, if, if anything happening with I mean primary or secondary, however, I mean this audio would be in on mode. Okay, the Seragon IP20G has four electrical and two optical and G Ethernet traffic interface. So uh, as I told that we have a total four electrical and two optical port here. Okay, so we can use for traffic purpose. Uh, now we can see uh, this type when you will receive material on site so uh, you can see like this okay so here we are using SM, SM card so you need to use some screw okay and you can uh, you, you, you have to lose first with the screw then you can insert I mean SM card here from here from this audio so we can see here also port details here okay so here I mean we can see here this port is covered with plastic cap okay if uh, yes if, if you are not using I mean both uh, radio then you can I mean I mean cover with a plastic cap don't I mean keep I mean open uh, cover okay and here we can I mean insert I mean uh, power connector here uh, and primary and secondary we have do a dual supply we can give and we can see here a screw so here we can use I mean here we can connect grounding cable okay you can connect first grounding cable then you can give the power and then you can I mean on I mean uh, MCB in your I mean uh, power plant or in your I mean uh, I mean what we call what we can call the I mean DCD box okay 
So uh, yes, we can uh, do like that. So here we, uh, you can use I mean primary and secondary power. So first you need to connect I mean grounding cable with audio. Then you can on I mean um, power from the power plant or rectifier or your DCD box. And yeah, uh, now we have uh, some. I mean, uh, we are doing some practical thing. Not practical thing. I mean, say we are testing uh, before installing on site. Okay, if you are doing some, uh, I mean, site in maintenance, then you have to, I mean, test first hardware is okay or not. So basically, we are testing. Uh, I mean, uh, where we are, uh, where um, we are having warehouse. So on warehouse, we are testing this idea is okay or not. Okay, because see, if uh, on any site this ad, uh, this type of audio went faulty, then if if we can think this we have I mean a spare and that audio is okay, then we can I mean install I mean without hesitation on site, and then we can um, use I mean existing SM card with the new audio. Okay, if SM card is not working, then we can connect uh, this cable here from laptop, and then we can do I mean man manu manually everything. Okay, with this I mean audio, whatever I mean par parameter is there, so parameter should be same with existing one, whatever I mean VLAN, IP, and uh, whatever I mean frequency, power. Okay, so same thing we need to full, um, we, we need to I mean put in this audio. Okay, so this uh, this was information for IP twenty G. Okay, so when uh, if you are using uh, I mean IP twenty G on site, so please make sure that uh, all uh, all information you should have, you should aware of this. Okay, so thank you guys. I think this is enough for I mean us and for you also. Okay, so we will see in next video. Thank you. Bye bye.